everybody, welcome back to video number two in my Reaper series. So the Reaper series is a 124 scale sniper model from, that's uh, a resin model from uh, UFAM models. And uh, in our first video, we did the fabrication and building of the base structure of this rooftop vignette for the sniper. In this video, we'll go ahead and do all the painting and the detailing and the weathering and all those little tips and tricks that uh, bring the base to life. So let's go ahead and get check that one out and then we'll talk a little bit more after the video is over. Okay, so here we're going to take some Tamiya surface primer and go ahead and prime up the entire structure now that it's all built. I've got some, I've got the uh, exhaust stack and the satellite dish set off to the side here. We're going to prime those separately and assemble them later as we get to the painting stage. Now I'm going to mix up some acrylics to go ahead and paint the roof tiles. Uh, it's going to be several layers of paint and treatments to ultimately get to the look that I'm going for here. Now I'm laying down some base coats for the brick with a little bit of highlighting, some dry brushing work to get some highlighting on the brick. Once I've got that done, I go ahead and take some individual bricks and give them some variation to the color with some darker brick and some redder brick and just so we can break up the pattern.
here I'm mixing up some spackling compound with some acrylic paint to create the mortar texture. Uh, I go ahead and flood the entire brick surface with the mortar mixture and then uh, take a wet towel it and uh, wipe it away leaving the mortar just in the recesses in the brick texture and the grout lines of the or the mortar lines. Now I'm painting the wood trim, uh, again, several layers here to create a white painted wood trim that has kind of started to rot and the paint wear away in various areas.
after I've laid down some base coats over the main roof area, I'm going ahead and using some dry pigments to give some variation and texture, some dry texture to the rooftop. then using some enamel thinner and some capillary action to go ahead and set that dry pigment in and let it dry up. It looks much darker when it's wet, but once it's dried, uh, it lightens up quite a bit. exhaust stack I go ahead and paint some basic rust color down first as a base coat and then apply some uh, worn effects chipping medium over top of that and then airbrush it white now I take some water and a brush and, and start scrubbing it away to wear the paint down to give it a natural weathered look then go back with a variety of rust uh, acrylic colors to give it the full rust treatment.
And then lastly, we go back in with dry pigments again to give it kind of that crusty, dirty, smoky uh, exhaust stain look at the top of the stack. And seal it all up with some acrylic clear. After laying down the base coat of an off-white onto the satellite dish, I'm hand brushing in a little logo on it and then we'll do some weathering on it and seal this all up with some clear. epoxy to glue the entire finished structure down to the wooden plaque as a solid base for the entire vignette. So now we're going to make the nameplate label design that on the computer and print it out on a sheet of label stock but before we print it out we actually peel the labels away and print it on the glossy surface of the carrier of the label stock you got to make sure that you print this backwards because we're going to transfer it onto the metal so i've got a piece of brass uh apply some uh li liquitex acrylic medium to it and lay down the laser print onto it, let it dry for a while, and then when I peel it away, it peels the toner off and seals it into the acrylic medium. some leaves so I've got some leaves here that I've made using a leaf puncher uh, go ahead and take some Elmer's glue and glue those around in various areas and then mix up some fall colors to make some dead leaves across the surface of the rooftop
add in the water bottle. And we're done. Okay guys, so there we got the vignette base pretty much put together and done. So in video number one, we did the fabrication of the base and video number two, we did the painting and detailing and weathering and kind of brought it to life. Now video number three, what's coming up next, we'll get into the figure. So it's a 124 scale figure from UFAN Nut Models, a, a sniper. We'll go ahead and assemble him and do some cleanup work on it, get the primer laid down and start left shooting the base coats. Uh, including the new OCP camouflage pattern. So I'll show you how I painted that and some basic shading techniques that I'm using before we go into video number four, where we'll do the face and the flesh tones and some tattoo work and the last touch details and last looks on the project. So again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I ask you to come back and check out more of my work on my Facebook page. Uh, look for the Scale Nerd on Facebook or check out my Scale Nerd video channel on YouTube. So until we see each other again on the next video, have some fun and safe and happy modeling. Talk to you later, guys.